WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here for the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network Market Update. Talk about an update. The Dow is up 653 at 35,234. This is really fantastic action because it's over the 14 period moving average. Finally, you know, it hasn't been over the 14 av uh, moving average since the breakdown of the 17th of November, where it was up at the 35,900s. So this is a really good thing. We've been anticipating the Dow is going to be stronger than the other indices, indices because it actually started on its way down. Uh, earlier and at the same time you're looking at the S&P coming back very strongly but the Dow is up 1.81 percent the S&P is only up 1.04 up 47 and 45.85 trying to fill in that really ugly candle of Friday where it made a lower low down to the 44.95 area here it is at 45.85 almost at just 90 points higher that's really good action weekly chart we'll talk about uh, um, as as Holding important support. Let's put it that way. The QQQ was lagging and still lagging a little bit. It's come back better. It's up 39 uh, ticks at 383.44, but it is struggling. It was the leader, and now it's not quite the leader anymore. IWM. Um, has acted very poorly today. It's not bad, 218.05 up 3.31. What is important here is that money is not flowing into gold. Uh, gold is down, but it's not flowing out. It's just it's just kind of stuck in a range at 17.79. You're looking at the dollar holding pretty well near, close to its uh, most recent highs at uh, 96.26. What really is important is that the um, 85 cents down in the TLT, 153.49. This is going to be important because it's up near the highs. Do yields go higher? Do they go lower? How they, I didn't do this in my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour a moment ago. I meant to do that. The XLF is now in leg B. It's acting very poorly considering where it was at 40.86 on, on the 26th of October plunging down to the 37.50 level, now to 38.83. We'll see how this acts over the next, uh, the coming few days. And crude oil, uh, crude oil right now is up a little bit. Yep, it's up $1.75. And that's going to be important because uh, it's trying to establish some kind of a base after a very sharp move from 85 down to the, I think, 63 area. It's at 68 right now, up $1.79. Been watching that closely. And the VIX index, I said to subscribers, if I had courage, I'd say, let's short the UVXY. <laughs> you need more than courage, you need a lot of money to do that because you don't want to risk being wrong. It's down $1.94 at 28.73 after being seven points higher on Friday at 35.32. This is another good sign that says a balance can last another couple of days and then we get a big test of strength. Stay tuned for Larry Pizzavento. Then you've got Think or Swim, Steve Rose, Dave White, Tom O'Brien. Have a great day.